Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we have Siege, and for the first fight, actually this is the first fight of the tournament mode Siege, we ended up on rank 150 or so, so we were too close to G2, and we are facing a G1 guild. And yeah, guys, I have never seen a Siege fight, and so quickly, I think this lasted between 4 and 5 hours only, because we took the full battlefield and, you know, they weren't able to react, because maybe they were asleep, and yeah, on, on these kind of battles, guys, the one that takes the races first is kind of the winner here. So, yeah, of course, this is not the competitive mode when everyone is up at, at the first second of the fight and they are facing each other one, one tower after the other. So, yeah, we were able to attack a lot and I was barely able to get targets to attack, guys. So I had to get rid of my attacks really quick. So the first one was a cliff, as you could see, we outsped and cleaved them, even though they had the Zora 2. So yeah, and we enjoy cleaving a, an Aldina 5. And for the second one, we cleaved as well. Now for the third one, we decided to go for the safe team, Bolberg, Amelia, and Skoggle, since, you know, we had to ignore the defense here, because they are very tanky units, but on the defensive side. So yeah, they ignore defense from both Bolberg and Skull are amazing here and every one of them applies buffs on, on the full team so we will be getting a ton of stacks on our Bulwark so this will be a super simple fight For this one, since it was a 4-star defense on a 5-star base, we took advantage of that, and yeah, guys, I'm ashamed, but that's what I could attack. That was the only thing that I could make an attack on, and yeah, you know, this was super simple. So for this one, we're going with our usual counter, with Laika, Lulu, and our own Perna. So basically, guys, we are going to take out the Sierra first, then we will decide whether we take out the Orion or the Perna, depending on the revenges from Laika. So all in all, another easy one. And for this one, we're risking it with my new favorite team, guys. We are running the Chompong, Tiana, and Lure comp. And sometimes I replace Lure with Savannah or with any other unit. But we want the AoE defense break from Lure that can't glance on anyone. So, yeah. And of course, Lure does nice damage when he actually attacks. Because he's on triple attack and he always lands as a crushing hit. So that's amazing. And we landed the defense rates, which is very important. So now we, we will land the pushbacks. And our Tiana will deal a ton of damage on the enemy team. And they are gone, guys. I love this team. Especially when defense rates land. Of course, my lure has max accuracy. So yeah, that's very important. And on this one, we are going to Copper Doser, we're going to Copper the Skull, we're going to Doser the Jan, and then we're going to face the Perna 3 on 1. And if Perna doesn't proc a million times and stun me a lot, I should win this without any problems.
and this one we're going to cleave. We're going to use the, the attack lead of Hrazebog. We are going to use our fast Lucian and we're going to push him with Tion. And, you know, if they were to survive the Lucian, then the Hrazebog should be able to take out what's left. And this is my Zenobia's debut, guys. The first time I ran her, I'm using her on Swift. I would love to use her on Violent Runes, but yeah, I didn't have a decent bio set to give her. So I went for Swift, and yeah, we're going with my R5 Shayna, so she's not tuned at all. So we are praying to actually kill one unit turn one, which should be actually easy here, since they are not on they are not on wheel, so we landed the defense rake and we destroyed their Tinovia. So now we are left with three on two and our twins can attack together. And for the final fight of this siege, we are going back to basics, guys. We are going to face Camun, Bigger and, and Skogel. And we are going to do that with our Giants V12 team. We are going to dot them to death and we are praying for our units to actually land the dot. So yeah, I hope they take turn one so that they get rid of their wheel runes and they don't have wheel runes to begin with. So this will be incredibly easy guys, we landed the stance and yeah, now we have to multiply those dots and so we did. And now we are relying on our train landing even more dots and maybe he can proc and he did. Guys, this team is so much fun when things go well. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching this. This is how the war resulted. We destroyed them and this is the contribution and then I will show you my trophy box. Guys, thank you again for watching this, please leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye bye.